Hey, Crossword fans. Welcome to the New York Times Crossword for Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. All right, now I'm excited about this one. Before we even get started, there's a note that says this is a uniclue crossword, which means that if an across and a down clue share a number, that means they're going to have the same clue also. So this looks like it's going to be a really unique solve. Let's get started. One across and one down, rubberneck. Okay, uh, well, if you're rubbernecking in a car, you're gawking. So maybe one across will be gawk. And then there's gonna be another term that begins with a G for gawking or rubbernecking. Well, I'm not sure what the second one will be. Let's see if we can get this down here lands heavily hmm hang on a second no no that gawk makes sense there three down predators of penguins that really seems like it should be orcas wow could it not be gawk let's see if i put in orcas here and maybe try this across here. No blank traffic. Hmm. Put this across. Multivitamin figure is recommended daily allowance amount, I think. And then ancient Jewish ascetic. Hmm. I'm not sure, maybe if we get more letters than that one, I'll be able to take a guess. Yeah, this this looks like thuds or something for lands heavily. Hmm, I'm shocked it's not gawks or gawk. Hmm, and then no through traffic. You'd see that on a, a road sign. Okay, so I guess rubberneck could be stare. What is this? Stop? That can't be right. Stop? Uh, I guess. Because this is looks like it's put to shame. And I suppose you would stop to rubberneck sometimes. All right, what's 17 across? Sold at Sotheby's, say. Auctioned. 18 down. Uh, uh, huh, uh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that should sound like. <laughs> Let's come back to it. Here's another uniclue. Stiffly formal. Hmm. Oof. Stiffly formal. I'm not sure. This is rice aroni. It looks like. Not reacting. It seems like it should maybe be inert, like an inert gas. Raised one's spirits. I think since this has a question mark at the end, it's going to be a play on words. So I think spirits is going to be the clue. It'll be about alcohol. So I think it's going to be made a toast because you raise your drink when you make a toast. Stiffly formal. Okay, now I can make a guess. This looks like prim. And then prim again or uh, stiffly formal again is going to be maybe proper. Let's see if that works in this cross here. Part of the Notre Dame Cathedral destroyed by the fire. Yeah, that's going to be a spire. Uh, 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 I think is how you should pronounce it because it looks like it is is not. Uh, I still don't know what this is. I think we're going to have to get the cross for me to get it. City near Leeds with historic walls. Hmm. Leeds is in England, but I don't know what, I don't know what the other, I don't know what the city is near Leeds. Maybe we can get this cross here. Another monoclue. Kind of sauce in 
Chinese cuisine. Hmm. Maybe the f maybe the down is duck sauce, possibly. And then could this be something else? This starts with a D. Hmm. Breakfast greens. Yeah, I don't think that begins with a U. I'm gonna take out duck and maybe put in oats here. 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup champs. Is that the USA? I think it was. Third and fourth word in many limericks. There once was a man from Nantucket. I'll let you fill the rest in. French political division. Uh, I think that's they're just asking for the word for state, which is etat, like in coup d'etat. I guess it's pronounced etat. So sweet and sour sauce. Okay. That looks good. 1950s, 60s entertainment group. I think that's referring to the Rat Pack, which was like... Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. and some others that I can't remember, but yeah, I think that's who it is. Uh, so that still doesn't help us too much with this city. Emoji that can mean get a load of this. It's probably just eyes. Okay, and then York sounds like the city. Namesake of New York. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. Quit fooling around. I think that looks like it's going to be knock it off. All right, it's a nice long one. Vivid colors, I think it's gonna be neons. Portuguese greeting is hola. Came with antlers, elk. Footwear, fashion, faux pas. Hmm. Oh, it's, uh, well, one of them is socks, I think, if you wear socks with sandals. Oh, you know what? I think I, I'm misunderstanding the, the way these theme answers are working, because it looks like the way you, you do it, the, the way you're supposed to answer is you add and in the middle, so for rubberneck, it's stop and stare. Prim and proper for stiffly formal, sweet and sour, socks and sandals. Okay, that's why I was getting a little confused and makes a lot more sense now, now that you're supposed to add them both together. Okay, that's a fun, it's a fun way to link answers like that together. Okay, condition that can lead to repetitive behavior for short OCD. Country with 28 states. Uh, looks like it's gonna be India. Container at a bakery. I think maybe a pie tin? I'll, uh, I'll guess that looks like it's gonna work. Proven to be reliable. Okay, now that I know it's an and clue, these are gonna come to me a little easier. I think it's gonna be tried and true. What's this across here? Cowboy's lasso is, I think it's a riata. It's another word for lasso. Store hours word, open until. Paradise, this looks like Eden's. Let me just check just to make sure it's riata. Orange discard is a rind, yep. And then no food for me, thanks, is I ate. I already ate, yep, that makes sense. Enthusiasm. Hmm. I can't think of that one. Practical Jokers channel. I have heard of this. This show. Is it like True TV, maybe? I'm not going to put that in because I'm very unsure of it. Anxiety about being excluded from the fun for short. Sure. This is a modern phenomenon. FOMO. Fear of missing out. 
The Jackson 5 had some big ones informally. Froze. They're talking about the hair. Um, I guess enthusiasm is ardor. It's kind of an old-timey word for it. Italian man. Uh, hmm. It is looking like it might be true TV, so I'm going to put that in. But then I, I really don't know Italian at all, so I don't think I'm going to even guess at this one. Uh, sneaker insert could be an odor eater. If you've got stinky feet. Houston team is the Houston Astros. Actor Poitier, that's Sydney. Um, I'm actually not sure if it's an I or a Y there, though. I th I'm going to guess it's an I. Let's see how that works. Okay, another theme answer here. Risk losing one's license. We definitely don't want to do this. Drink. And drive. All right. Button on a deli scale. That's tear. Um, it's kind of an unusual word. When you tear a scale, it just means that you're zeroing it out. So if you want to, for instance, use a heavy container to weigh something, you would put the container empty on the scale, hit tear, and then fill it up, and then weigh it again, and you'd get just the weight of the contents on the inside. All right, another mono clue here. Fully from as a place. This is born and bred. Okay, gotcha. I think it's more like gotcha, like I understand. So maybe it's natch. Hmm, when I said it out loud, it didn't sound as good as it did in my head. Let's see if it's right. Reproductive cells, yeah, I think that might be ova. So then what is this? Hmm. Each is every. Exaggerated stories is yarns. Feel the blank, bygone political slogan, bygone. Come on, Bernie's still around. Okay, former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Uh, okay, it's noted. All right. Uh, and then what is this? Slow churned ice cream brand. That's Edie's. Okay, that sounds right. Counselor Deanna on the USS Enterprise. I love Star Trek The Next Generation. That's Deanna Troy. Afraid so. Uh, I was going to say yarn, but I. one of the things about the New York Times crossword is they will not repeat answers, even if they're slightly different. I don't think it would be yarn. So I'm, I'm going to guess since we already have yarn, it's going to be torn, possibly. Pen sound. Hmm. Pen. Oh, like a pig pen. That'll be oink. The last one was named Lewis. Oh, I guess it's Louis because this is Roy, which is king in French. Uh, second level. Hmm. Okay, so it's not torn either, it's worn. That makes more sense. And then uh, this looks like it's maybe tier two, which would be the second level. East Coast City on a Western Coast. What? Oh, interesting. So this maybe is um, on an island. Maybe like in the Caribbean or something. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if we can get it. 60 seconds is a minute. Abbreviation in the clue, which means abbreviated answer. Old Glory. That is the stars 
and stripes. Oh, okay, Tampa. Oh, because it's on the west coast of Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, that's that's a cool clue. I like that. All right. Past the point of being a joke, say. I guess that's if you take a joke too far. Best picture winner directed by Ben Affleck. That was Argo, I believe, right? Another movie I have yet to see. Fidel's brother and successor in Cuba, that's Raul Castro. And take off. Uh, might be Shed. I say that because this looks like it's going to be Torah, yeah. Uh, Holy Scroll. Uh, Scoundrel is a rogue. And remark from one who's obviously not going to call in poker. You say, I fold. And then you're done. Oh, but we're not done. Looks like we've got something wrong. Wow, I could have... Sworn. Oh, I've got a typo. Well, <laughs> we made it in the end. All right. Well, thanks for solving that with me. That was a uh, once I got the hang of the the uh, the theme. It really made a lot more sense and uh, made it a lot more fun to solve. All right. Thanks. Uh, hope you enjoyed solving with me. I will see you all tomorrow.